This is Dr. Maureen Craig continuing on our work with emotions, specifically anxiety in this video. When you're experiencing anxiety and you've come with your hand on your heart, let's begin there. Just checking in with yourself, noticing the anxious feeling and those sensations in the body that you've been labeling. Bringing that kindness to yourself. We're going to move on to what we call the physiological side, which is a way to use the breath to work with anxiety. That happens with a big breath in. At the end of the inhale, another little inhale, and then a long, slow exhale. It'll look like this. Inhale fully, a little more, and a slow exhale. Repeating that for as long as is helpful to you. Make sure you're in a seated or lying down position if you're doing it for any extended period of time so you avoid any lightheadedness. This can really help relax the body, especially if it's done for about five minutes. Keeping the breath slow. The next thing to move on to is labeling. With labeling, what we're doing is in anxiety, there's so much content coming through the brain that it's making us anxious. With labeling, you're slowing it down using one or two words with each expression. I like to do this in nature. So I might use a color and an object and say, a green leaf. Quickly move my attention to the next thing. Oh, there is a green grass. Oh, there's beige grass. And then I might notice there's gravel and it's beige or, or charcoal. So I'm putting together a color and an object. You can also use texture a rough leaf or a color and a uh, texture green and rough and you keep moving through nature just quickly as you can noticing the color light on leaves blue sky variegated leaves and you just use two words and continue to label until you sense your attention is really drawn into your labeling and letting go of some of your overthinking, your anxious thinking. I call this making space. Another thing you can look at is making space in your calendar. Oftentimes people that are very high achievers run with anxiety because we're trying to get so much done in a short period of time. So look at your calendar and your, and your plan for the day and see if you can tuck more space into it so that it helps you mitigate this risk of anxiety. The next step is moving into the serenity prayer. And you can move between these, these steps. But the serenity prayer, we notice that we're saying, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, right? The things that are out of our control, letting go. To, the courage to change the things we can. This is where our energy is gonna go in a very stepwise fashion. And then that wisdom to notice the difference. I also recommend when you're working with some of your beliefs that are challenging, the work of uh, Byron Katie's The Work. Taking some time to explore your beliefs and seeing where they might be edited so that they're coming more in alignment with your truth. And lastly, if you're continuing to struggle with emotions, don't forget to ask for help. You're not the only person to solve problems. So making sure that if you need to, reach out to a professional uh, resource for assistance. Thank you.